Welcome gamers to a really advanced sneak peek at a game that's going to be called uh, Ancient Arenas Chariots, which is sort of like a spiritual successor to Quadriga. Uh, in fact, it's so secret at this point in time that when I've got this particular build, I didn't even know what the name of the game was until uh, Slytherin had their uh, their live event this morning. It was this morning my time. Uh, where I was supposed to be playing this as a live stream, uh, where there was supposed to be like a multiplayer between Angry Joe... Um, uh, Cringer, uh, Writing Bull and myself. So the four of us were supposed to be sort of having like a race. But we unfortunately, with just through the technical problems with the game, like the game is actually really buggy at the stage. It's not not even close to release. So don't even th sort of, don't judge the game on the bugginess of the actual game. It's it's like, almost like a proof in concept, a proof, yeah, proof concept at the stage. And so, you know, just be aware of that. There's a lot that has to be done in this game to make it even close to being ready for launch. So the stability is a massive, massive problem. What I thought I'd actually just do is just show you a, uh, a race and then show you the campaign. And look, I don't know a lot about the game, but I like what I see about what the promise of what the game will then bring. So again spending all of the stuff about bugs and things like that this is this is beyond early access this is beyond alpha this is this is like proof of concept so anyway let's just go and do ourselves a single race now hopefully this will actually work sometimes it hasn't uh, as you would have seen if you're watching that event this morning so I'll, I'll do this as a three lap race uh, I'll do I'll try six players see if we can actually make it work see how it doesn't work down here but that's okay because I need to then go and select We'll just get medium computer players coming in. So I've got all those. I need to pick a chariot. I'll just pick any old one. I'll actually pick this one with the more stability with the um, being able to move sideways. So I'll choose that chariot. Ah, start game. Excellent. It did actually work this time. It quite often doesn't work. So here we are. We're inside the stadium. Uh, so we've got the stadium in through this side. Here's the horses. And then it will sort of go, for some reason, it'll show, it'll show the hooves. <laughs> The hooves of a horse. I don't know why. So as I say, there's a lot of stuff that's not working just yet. We're just going to go across so we can either follow. So we're actually here. This is our horse, right? This one. I can also go sideways. So we've got a lot of things that's going to be happening here. Being on the inside gives me a faster turn around the corners, but I've got to be really careful of my speed. Anyway, I'm just going to go and go double speed. So I'm going to rapidly, rapidly accelerate. It's a turn-based game that you can play dynamically. You can actually play it as a, um, as a, uh, what is it? Um, as a, as a real-time game if you're wanting to. Now I'm up to three. I'm going to keep on going, and then I'm going to start to decelerate. So I'm going to go as fast as I can and get up to five. Of, I don't want to be going more than about three into the corner. So I'm now going to have to decelerate. So I'm just going to now decelerate two, I think. Let's just get this thing down nice and slow. So we come down to three by the time we hit the corner. Good. Perfect. Now we're hitting the corner. Now we're almost all the way through there. And this one's tumbled over already. So he's over and we're now miles in front, which is actually really quite nice. So let's just now go and um, accelerate quickly again out of that corner. So he's holding. No, he's trying to run away over there. So he's running away. This guy slipped across and then hit the uh, hit the ones in front. Now your horses can be damaged. You can be damaged. I think I haven't seen the chariots damaged at this stage. Now I'm going to just move across a lane uh, through here. I'm going at maximum speed, so I, I can't. I can go faster if I whip my horses, but let's just stay where we are here. I think being on this lane here is actually not too bad, and then I can just stabilize here, control the stance. I've got no one near me. So um, we've sort of been able to get right away from that uh, from that early manoeuvre. So it's up to them now to chase us down if they can. And for us, we just have to play it safe. So I'm just going to want him to make sure that I do come back to uh, probably really three is safe. Four I should be able to manage. I'll just try it with a four and just see how we go. I'll stabilise the chariot as we come around the corner. So I'm just going to now click the stabilisation. See how it's red? That's very, very dangerous. So four is dangerous on these inner areas, but we made it. We actually did well, and that way, that way we've pulled ahead even further apart. There's all sorts of other things that I can do, like I can um, accelerate more quickly to get to get the quick acceleration. When I'm actually, um, when I, if I've got other chariots nearby, I can I can do some aggressive maneuvers. 
there's a few different things that I can do. I can I can actually um, whip the horses to make them go faster. I can crash into the horse, the, like into the chariots on the on the left. I can move the lane. I can push off the lane, so push enemy off the left lane and take his spot. Or I can actually lacerate uh, the enemy to damage them or slow them down, which will then make them go slow. So th there's, if there's horses around me, I can do those sorts of things. Now I'm just going to keep. We're running at, at full speed here. Everyone's healthy. We're doing incredibly well. And we're just coming up to the next uh, next corner now. I can actually just have, I can watch it from this angle if I'm wanting to. Uh, now we've got a chariot in our line here. I'm going to move out to the right because I'm so far ahead. I don't need to take that inner lane. So let's just hit this this lane through here. Now I need to. Oh, this is actually I've now gone too far. I need to quickly decelerate. I'm down to three. That's that's safe. That's safe. So I can now just stable, go around this corner in a stable fashion. So maybe the inside lane would, would be a good one for us. So we'll come around the other side. They're miles, miles behind us at this point in time. So we'll now accelerate as fast as we can. Marsh, marsh, get up to five. people giving us a little AV, uh, the AVE, whatever it is. <laughs> um, I will actually now move across one again, now that I'm traveling at maximum speed, just slide across. Yeah, the animations need to be sort of looked at, the wheels don't turn at all. And it'd be good if you could actually control, you know, the uh, the view of where you actually are. Um, so this is still only, only, this is only the second go around, let's just... Um, I'll get this one slowing down a little bit for the corner. It's coming up. Yeah, there's something else there on the corner by the looks of things. It may still be just be there. Oh, it's just that there. That's okay. We'll slow right down to three. We're in a race of our own at this stage. So there's nothing. We don't have to do it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. We've got another charioteer. Uh, coming around the outside edge. Yep, so he is actually travelling pretty fast. Looks almost too fast, but he's, he does have the outer outer line, so he'd probably be okay. Let's just um, keep this going. Yeah, here they come. I've probably just been a little bit too pedestrian here. So I'm going to now accelerate. I might just go back down to three again on the inside running. He's only just, he's, it looks like he's gone at full speed the whole way around. Let's, um, we know that we have to be off this line because of the crash chariot at the end of the end of the um, run here. Now as we get a bit closer, how far off are we? Yep, we, I better start to slow down. Down to four. This will take us down to three, which should then make this into a fairly safe corner, even though we're on the inside running here. Around we go. Just keep it stable. Yep. Oh, we slipped across into another lane. That's okay. As long as we don't tumble over, that's the important thing. Now we're going to go crazy. Well, not crazy. Crazy is to whip the horses. We haven't had to whip the horses yet. We've been able to just control the race and we haven't had to be aggressive either. So we're going at maximum speed, so we'll now just control the stance. Again, we want to be down to about three when we uh, come around this corner. I could actually move across. I might just do that. That way I can probably get away with being at, traveling at four. So I'll just come back one more. Now I'm actually in a bad position here. I'm going to dramatically decelerate. And then I'm going to accelerate halfway through. So I'm down to three, which is safe. I'm now just going to accelerate up by one. 
and come out of this corner as fast as I can. All right, let's um, let's whip these horses into shape. So we can now go above our maximum as fast, like really quickly. So let's just whip them. This will then damage the horses very, very slightly. And we're now traveling at over six. And so this will then just bring us home. Come on, whip. Yeah, we won it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, team! We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, so that's sort of the way that the um, the main race actually does win. Uh, sorry, does work. It's pretty cool. Like, it, and uh, there wasn't much interaction there with the other with the other um, competitors in the race. But we'll exit the race from there, and uh, we'll go back. So, uh, what we'll have a look at, quick look at, is the campaign. I don't really understand how this one works, to be honest. Like, see, so you pick a color, you pick a symbol. Uh, you can pick different sorts of uh, craftsmen, like you know what uh, you've got. Uh, so the faction is either slavers with training grounds, horse masters, or um, or craftsmen. I'll go with craftsmen, and I'll go with scholar. Like you've got different character backgrounds, like scholar, former priest, so you get a shrine, um, renowned origa, so you you get a uh, scouting hut in through this side as well, um, a trader. I'll just go with a scholar in this instance. So we'll just go and create this. And then this sort of takes us into this mode here, where we can sort of then see the uh, the school, like the uh, I guess the chariot charioteering school. And so we've got different things that we can then go and do. Like we've got, for example, the meteorological hut. If we go and click on that one, it's up on the hill here. And so this one here, we can start to do some research. So this is sort of like where we do do research. Let's do wheels. Why not? So we'll just do that one. So we've got like research points. Uh, we can go back across to the. Um, uh, is it the, the villa? This is the villa, so we can then go and, and upgrade different areas. I'm not sure what these do. I've got no idea, and I don't know what these do as well. So let's just do that, because <laughs> we don't know what it is at this point in time. But I can actually build things like the shrine, the scouting hut. Uh, this is so super, super early access, so don't worry too much about what's going on here. We can also do like, pay money to get faction points. We can um, get different uh, p uh, patrons as well to sort of then um, uh, help us. So like in the next race, finish in the top three, finish in the next three races, use three different origas in three continuous races, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, then we have uh, the chariots. So when we, we can build our own chariots. That's a very ornate chariot, that one there. So we can actually go and build them by dragging in, like we've got a heavy cart, heavy harness, heavy ornaments, and uh, heavy wheels in this particular chariot. So we can, if we wanted to, now everything we've got is heavy for whatever reason, except for the wheels. We do actually have, I could switch those wheels out and get medium wheels, but they have different points. And I don't, again, I don't know exactly what all of these things are. Um, I've got no idea. But anyway, this sort of then dictates how the chariot will then perform. But I love the idea. Whatever these things are, I like the idea of it. Now, we've got... Um, this is the chariot parts that we have. Again, it's not going to... Is that going to show us? No, it's just filtering. Yeah, no, I don't know. No idea. No idea how that all works. But it's pretty cool. <laughs> it looks like it'd be fun anyway by the time we, we sort of get things going. So there's a lot of... Uh, there'll be a lot of fine-tuning when you actually do play the campaign game, which I'm really interested in. Uh, we then actually have our Aurigas themselves, so we can actually deck out Aurelius uh, pop Populus. Now, we've only got heavy helmets, um, heavy armor, and heavy boots, so he's now decked out and ready to go. Now, I, I don't think we can train him yet. We don't have, I don't think we've got a proper training ground. It's, this is the training ground. I don't know why we can't put him in there. Unless there was, if there was somebody else, we'd probably be able to bring him across. Again, he's going to have all these different other skill sets, which I'm not really familiar with. Same with the horse teams. We've got a horse team in through this side as well. Um, you know, with with their own sort of skill sets, and I think we can drag them around as well. I think you can sort of put them into different positions. I think we've got five. One that's not being not being uh, used just yet. Uh, that one, I don't know what that is, that, that one through there. And then we've actually got the, um, so that's the, that's the stables. There's nothing else I can do with that one. If we just come back across here, this is the uh, prep tent where we can then try to, if it was time for a race, we'd then be able to then put our, our chariots into the actual race itself. And if we have a look at the schedule, uh, I don't think that, I think league races, I don't think we can actually put in, um, how many of these we can actually do or when we can do it. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know if it means we can actually... Yeah, actually, there's, a, there's an opening there, I think. Like, I would like to have put a like one of our guys into this first race, but it's um, you can see there we're coming last. Well, everyone's coming last, basically. We've got zero, zero wins. But I can't do anything with the prep tent for whatever reason. I'll just go next week, and then I'll just go to the prep tent again and just see if I can... I still can't do anything. So I can't actually set them up just yet. It comes up over here if we can do anything. Just go next week again. And when's the next one? This one is the league race. So maybe we can squeeze in here. So let's just see, see what happens in through this side. So we'll just go back into the prep tent. Here we go. We can participate in this coming, in this coming race. This is in Spain. Uh, I think that's how much gold you win if you win it. I don't know what this is. I think that's sort of like faction points, whatever that's going to be. Um, required or rigors one, uh, four lanes, one lap, weather is sunny, track is, is muddy, and the opponent list, we've got uh, like these are the different um, different other, so we've got Apolloni, Espelus, and we've got Apollonia, Espelus, so maybe they're brothers <laughs> or cousins or something. So all we do is we, if we have like a, a school of different Origas, we just bring the Origas across. So that's our first Origa. Then we have our chariots. We've only got the one chariot that we've got built. And we've got our one one team of horses. Now, the horses don't get dragged there. You've sort of got to then push them from here for some reason. Anyway, that then gets them in there. So here's what he looks like. He looks pretty mean. Looks pretty good with that chariot there and the horses. So I can either just auto race. If you're really only wanting to be sort of playing the campaign game, you're going to be able to do that with an auto race. Let's just see how we go. It's only one lap. So um, one lap, See how, and let's just see how we actually perform in this particular race. So this is a different uh, Colosseum. This is a Spanish Colosseum. It's going to be much, much smaller. And it looks like we're the one on the end here. I do like this campaign mode, I've got to say. I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Uh, we're just going to go back. So there we are on the inside running. I might keep it on this mode just uh, for a little while. Now, actually, maybe... Yeah, we're going to go up to 3.6 with our guys. I'm just going to rapidly accelerate. It's only a small track. So rapidly accelerate. Off we go. I wish the wheels would turn. <laughs> so over we go. Now we're going at 2.6, that's probably enough. Now I'm going to try to whip this ne this next group into a frenzy. Actually, we'll go to the side so we can sort of see it here. I'm going to I'm going to whip to the side and try to get these guys going as fast as they can and just see if we can actually it may it may work against us. Actually, we're now going really slow here. Maybe they did the same. No, they they were just doing what they that what they were doing. I'm going to go fast. Try to get this, get the acceleration up again. Now, is he going too fast? Come on, bounce off there. I've actually just helped him. <laughs> He's trying to decelerate. Let's uh, let's stay in the saddle here, at going at 2.6. Okay, we're still coming in behind him. Oh no, we've slipped across. Okay, I'm going to now, I'm going to now go across another one. Up, oh, couldn't get across. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, now you need to whip crazy. Now he's going to get there before us because he can accelerate. So we're not going to not going to make it. We'll just whip the, whip our horses, and you can see we've done damage to our horses. Our horses have actually been damaged, and in fact, one of them is very very close to dying. That one there, and that should be the end of the race. Maybe we just have to wait for the others now. So what I'll do is I'll just de decelerate. That was, yeah, I don't know, it's sort of funny, the game. Like, it sort of it doesn't know when to stop with these ones here. I'll just move across. The race should be over. But for whatever reason, it's not. Now, what's why is that, I wonder? Let's just keep it stable as he comes around the outside. Well, we came second. And we probably did that to ourselves by whipping the horses. I could have slowed the other horses down. Actually, there's still more coming. They haven't quite made it across the finish line yet. So we're not going to we're not going to get any anywhere from here now. Unless the guy in front makes a, makes a big mistake. Actually, we'll just accelerate. 
Oh yeah, there we go. The last one's finished the uh, finish line. So we finished in second place. That was a good finish, I think. I'm happy enough with that one. But it's it's pretty cool. Like the game, you can sort of see it's got a lot of promise with what actually does there. I'll just exit the race. And there we are. We're back. We're back in here again. Um, I don't know what what says. Like as I say, it's super early days, so I don't know what we get out of that. <laughs> we go back to the villa. Nothing much is really sort of showing there. Anyway, I think I'll just leave it there. I mean, it's it's an interesting. It looks interesting. The actual um, game itself. It looks like there's a lot of promise coming, and uh, already it's functional from a from a as I said before a, a proof of concept, but it's not really super polished at this point in time. So um, there's still a lot of work to be done, but it, it really does look good. Um, you know, if, I think it, I think it'll be a really, really good game when it's all sort of done and dusted. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.